What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dolo here, and I'm back with another video. Now, today, um, it's gonna be my first video back. Uh, I know I've been gone for a little minute, and I've just been trying to get stuff together, you know, get back on my feet and everything, but um, your boy is back with a video. And today, I just wanna, you know, give you guys a little recap of what I've copped so far this year. I haven't been going too crazy with the sneakers, but I have been picking up some stuff, and I just wanna show you guys a few of the pickups I got recently and you know I got a few more coming in that I do want to show you guys but uh, we're gonna get into that um, but before we do that if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel um, like the video when it's over because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna drop some fire and um, drop a comment down below let me know some of the stuff you're picking up let me know how your the past year has been for you um, you know just let me know so let's talk in the comments I like when you guys com um, comment down below um, I get in there, I like to respond and stuff. So um, without further ado, we're going to jump right into the video. And I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I've been picking up. Now, for anybody who's been paying attention to sneakers for the past year or so, um, you know Nike has been going crazy with one specific model. And that model is the Nike Dunk. Whether it be the SB Dunk, the Dunk Low, the Dunk High, the SB Dunk High. Um, whether it be any of the Dunks, Nike has been going crazy with them. You got Supreme Collabs. You have um, a Chunky Donkey collab uh, with Ben and Jerry. Um, you got a lot of different collabs that came out. You got the Carpet Company collab, which I still need to pick up because that's probably one of the dopest ones to drop. But um, I picked up some Dunks this year so far and really only two pair, but there were two pair that I really wanted, mostly because um, they're part of a pack and I got to get the third. The third is probably skyrocketed a lot, but I'm going to get my hands on it later. Um, but so far, I have the Nike Dunk Low Ceramic. Um, super dope shoe in my opinion, as you can see. It is worn. Uh, I haven't really, I need to clean these. I haven't cleaned these since I last wore them. But um, this is one of the ones I like wearing the most. The colorway to me is just super dope. A um, little bit hard to match sometimes, but you can always find something. Like you can get a fit off with these. This is just a dope shoe overall. Um, all suede upper. Um, everything else is pretty plain Jane. Um, orange out so nothing really too crazy going on with this sneaker but um this is one of the ones that i had to pay resale for uh, mostly all of this stuff i had to pay resale for because it's almost impossible to get stuff nowadays but um super dope shoe one of the ones i like wearing the most um like i said before i need to clean these because i haven't cleaned them since the last time i wore them and it goes along with the next shoe i'm about to show you also so Next up, we got the Nike Dunk Low Veneer. And as you can see, both of these, um, they're also part of the Ugly Duckling pack along with the Plum, which I don't have. I need to pick the Plum up, but the price of that has went up a lot, so I gotta make something happen and get that shoe. But um, I don't wear this one as much. I do like it a lot. Um, really good colorway. I just really don't wear it as much, mostly because I wanna keep it in pretty good condition, but I'll wear it every once in a while. I get some fits off with it. If you Check my Instagram, which is probably gonna be down below. You can see all these shoes I wear and get the fits off. Uh, you can see what I put on with them, get some on foot. But um, yeah, again, all over suede shoe. Um, suede Nike Dunk with the purple laces up top, um, purple outsole, um, pretty plain Jane, just a super dope shoe. Quality on these were both amazing. And yeah, I like this shoe. Uh, if I could, I would have doubled up on this shoe, but I had to pay resale for both of them. so. I'm not doubling up anytime soon, especially if the price keeps going up. Now, next up, I got a collab shoe I want to show you. And it's a super dope collab in my opinion. Um, if I, in my opinion, this brand has not missed with their Nike collabs. But this is the Nike Air Force One Low um, black colorway of the Cactus Plant Flea Market um, Air Force One. In my opinion, like I said before, Cactus Plant has not missed with their collabs with Nike. Um, everything from the vapor max to the dunk glow with the swarovski crystals on them um those are super dope i ain't getting my hands on those they just cost too much um at least not right now um but this will do for now um i really like the up tempo um and i like the up tempo font and i like them putting it on this shoe especially on the air force one it was just different in my opinion and ended up being a super dope shoe um has air flea on the side people always look at these and if they haven't seen them before, they always like, dude, where'd you get those? Like, what are those shoes? Like, in my opinion, this is just a super dope shoe. Um, I wear this one a lot also. 
Um, I usually don't get to wear my shoes a lot until like the weekends when I'm off. But um, this one, I could put this on with just about anything. Um, super dope shoe in my opinion. Um, and I picked these up off GOAT, resell again, because again, it's hard to get stuff. But uh, I did get these for a pretty good price and they went up a lot since then. And I'm glad I was able to get these. So this is a super dope shoe and that's my third shoe for pickups. And next up, I have the New Balance 550 Basketball, the Ame Leandor collaboration. Um, in my opinion, this is like the New Balance Chicago Jordan 1, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, this is my Jordan 1, because I don't, I don't own a pair of Chicago Jordan 1s, and I just like this shoe a lot. I wear this one a good amount also. Like, man, I've been wearing all these shoes. If you buy shoes and you just let them sit up and you don't wear them, like, shame on you because it's, these things are too dope to not be wearing. But if you can see, you got the Ame Leandor logo on the back of the left shoe and the New Balance on the back of that shoe. And you also got the Ame Leandor, you know, tag up front. Um, but super dope shoe in my opinion. I wear these like they're a pair of Chicago Jordan 1s in my opinion. Um, super dope shoe, super dope colorway. Had to add these to the collection. They have several other colorways of this shoe and I need to pick some more up because I don't feel like we're ever gonna get anything like this ever. For I me, mean, not for a while. I mean, they have been releasing the regular 550s, but I don't know. It's just something about having the uh, Ame Leandor colorways with the weathered midsole. Um, just super dope in my opinion. Um, I really like this shoe and I'm glad I was able to pick these up for a really decent price. They've went up since then also. And I'm looking forward to probably getting my hands on some more of these because I like this shoe a lot and I wear it. Um, probably, this is probably second to the Air Force Ones, like with these, so. And all my shoes, I need to clean them because I don't be having time, man. I gotta clean these shoes and I wear them. But we're gonna jump into, let's see, one more shoe. For my last shoe of the day, um, but it's certainly not like the least shoe of the day. I guess that's how you say it. Um, I have a banger in my opinion, but this is the Jordan 5 Off-White, the cell colorway. And in my opinion, um, this is probably one of the coolest shoes in my collection right now. Um, if you haven't noticed already, um, most of the stuff I had, older stuff I had, had a lot of Off-White shoes back then. Um, I got rid of all that stuff. And, you know, to add this pair to my collection this year, um, you know, it just kind of brought it all full circle. When I did sell my collection, um, I was able to get these for a pretty good price. Um, I got them off GoDab, and it was just cool to add another Off-White back to my collection because I don't have any other ones in there now. Um, probably gonna change soon. They got a lot of stuff coming out. But um, super dope shoe in my opinion. I've only worn this shoe once. I wore it to SneakerCon. Dallas, I want to say about a month ago, and um, it was definitely a super dope shoe to put on that day. Um, I don't really get to wear my shoes a lot, like I said before, but when I do, I like to put on some of my cooler ones. Um, so, nothing too crazy here. You've probably seen this review of this shoe a few times, but super dope shoe. I like the off-white take on it. It's a lot thinner. Um, deals with my problem I had with Jordan 5s before. I feel like they're kind of a bulky shoe. I do like them but they're kind of a bulky shoe and this kind of took care of it, removing some of the padding up top. But um, this is a super dope shoe in my opinion and probably, like I said, one of the cooler ones in my collection. Now those are just some of the ones I picked up this year so far. Um, I have picked up some more stuff that I'm not showing yet. You can probably see one of them up here. I'm gonna do a review of that shoe because I haven't worn it yet. I still have the box and everything. Um, but I do wanna do a review of that shoe and I got another shoe over there that just came in yesterday. Um, probably a banger also um i gotta show you guys that one too and i got another pair on the way so i got a few videos i can line up but um also i've been picking up hats recently um really gotten into fitted hats after i cut my hair i really got into fitted hats i had bought a whole bunch of them and i got a few of them up here already and uh, i'm gonna be you no know, just putting out some more videos yeah i'm thinking about you know kind of trying to bring the channel back you know i was growing a little bit um a little bit fast and then um you know reality happened i had to step away from it for a little while a long while actually but i am back now and i want to put out some videos show you guys some of the dope stuff i've been picking up uh if you follow me over 
on Instagram, you probably see all of this stuff already. And um, that's probably the easiest way to get in touch with me also if you ever want to ask questions about anything. It's um, probably going to be in the bio somewhere. But um, that's all I pretty much got for you guys today. So remember, like the video, leave a comment down below. If you made it this far and you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And that's all I got. So peace out.